Hey everybody, it's Fama Easter, and uh, we had a very interesting reaction to our shock collar or my shock collar article. Um, we had lots of comments. Uh, it was a very passionate exchange, uh, so much so that I feel like I have to write another article about it and maybe even address it. Um, this is extremely controversial. I mean, you could tell uh, the passion and in, 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 in the pros and the cons of uh, the post, uh, but I do want to definitely explain, especially to dog trainers that are thinking they want to use a shock collar, they feel they have to use a shock collar as a last resort, frustrated pet owner that feels that they need to use a shock collar to change their dog's behavior, or people that think that their dog is fine wearing a shock collar. I'm talking to you guys, okay? I do want to say, that's not worth it. It is not worth using a shock collar. There, it is not. I have been training a long, long, long time. And I'm gonna tell you, I've not been a saint. Back in the 80s and early 90s, I did train with shock collars. I did. So I'm not one of those dog trainers that says, oh, don't do it, but I've never done it. Oh, I have. And it was horrible. And I will never do it again, ever will I do that again. There's always a different option always instead of shocking your dog okay I, I I cannot I get emotional and I get on my soapbox I cannot explain what can happen and what can go wrong for pet owners that feel that their dogs or okay with a shock collar I, I, I would challenge to send, challenge you to send video so we can actually see um, and for those that I, 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 I just, there's just no way it causes a level of anxiety. I mean, I don't have one on and look at the anxiety it's causing me because I know what it can do. Um, I, I just, it's, it makes things worse. It's, it's just not worth it. And for those that think that working dogs must or can tolerate shock collars, um, no, show me the proof. Um, I don't think any dog deserves it. You just can't convince me of it. So if you are the few that feel like you want to reach for a bark collar, you want to reach for an electronic collar, or you're defending an electronic collar, um, I, I challenge you to find research that backs up your stance for being pro shock collar. Look through just about everything and I could not find one instance from a professional and a professional is a veterinary behaviorist, someone that has a PhD or a master's in behavior that is pro shock collars in their research. All of them absolutely showed that uh, shock collars will, will harm a dog, they'll hurt a dog and they'll hurt you and your dog's bond. Um, there's even one that I posted in this article that states that instead of using a bark collar if your dog barks, that using a treat dispenser actually will decrease your dog's uh, barking quicker and faster than a shock collar. And also too, you don't have all those crazy uh, side effects of using a shock collar too. It's just not worth it. It's the reason why some countries are banning shock collars. I, I cannot plead enough that it's just not worth Ever picking it up a shock collar and put it on your dog not worth it and those that have used it you will never convince me ever okay I'm getting off my soapbox I do want to give animal behavior college a huge shout out for even uh, posting my article about shock collars and posting this article and this video about shock collars. I mean, what a great way to get to more readers uh, online and let them know that shock collars are just not worth it. They're just not worth it. All right, let the friendly debates begin. Please, if you're going to post about why you don't like shock collars or why you do, please make sure that you back up your response with research. Please disregard any of your personal experiences because we want to base this on research. Okay? All right. Again, I'm Fama Easter. It's not worth using a shock collar on your dog. All right. Thanks. Bye.